Good day everyone, my name is Riba Hinting Flores and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Last day, we discussed about the triple integrals in cylindrical coordinates. And for today, we will discuss about triple integrals in spherical coordinates. Spherical coordinates locate points in space with two angles and one distance as shown in figure T which is in the next slide. The first coordinate P is equal to the absolute value of OP is the point's distance from the origin. So the first coordinate is denoted as P, which is the absolute value of OP. The second coordinate is the angle OP mixed with a positive Z axis. It is required to lie the interval of 0 is less than or equal to the second coordinate is less than or equal to pi. The third coordinate is the angle theta as measured in the cylindrical coordinates. So this is the illustration. So you observe we have the x, y, and z with the particular coordinates. Next is the definition of spherical coordinates. It represents a point P in the coordinates triples, the first coordinate, the theta, and the second coordinate, in which the first coordinate is the distance from P to the origin. The theta is the angle from the cylindrical coordinates. The second coordinate is the angle OP mixed with the positive z axis. In this interval, 0 to pi. The rectangular coordinates x, y, z and the spherical coordinates are related by the following equations. So we came up with x is equal to the first coordinate sine second coordinate cosine theta. y is equal to the first coordinate sine second coordinate sine theta. z is equal to the p cosine to the second coordinate. The formula for the tri triple integral in spherical coordinates is the triple integral the function of x, y, z, d, v, which is equal to the function of the first coordinate sine, second coordinate cosine theta, first coordinate sine, second coordinate sine, second sine theta, the first coordinate cosine, second coordinate, second first coordinate squared sine, second coordinate, d first coordinates, d theta, and the d second coordinates, where d is equal to the set of the first coordinate theta second coordinate as a is equal is less than or equal to the first coordinate is equal to less than or b where the alpha is less than or equal to theta where theta is less than or equal to the beta and c is equal is less than or equal to the second coordinate and less than or equal to d and dv is the first coordinate squared sine the second coordinate d second co first coordinate d second coordinate the triple integrals in the spherical coordinates evaluate the triple integrals of x squared plus y squared d will be evaluated with this function a where a is the hemispherical region that lies above the x y plane and below the sphere x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 9 the spherical coordinates we have 0 is equal to the less 0 up to 3 0 to negative to 2 pi and the hemisphere is 0 to that's pi over 2. The first and foremost is write the given substitute the following limits. So we came up with the triple integrals of p squared sine to second coordinate all over x squared plus y squared p squared sine uh, second coordinate d p d theta and that d sine second coordinate over dv and by that we came up with the triple integrals p raised to the power of 4 sine cube second coordinate dp d theta and d second coordinates if we integrate the first integral we came up with 243 all over 5 the two and the, the remaining two integral sine cube second coordinate d theta d second coordinate Again, we came up with simplifying to the second, integrating the second coordinate. So we came up with 243 over 5, 2 pi, the f remaining integral sine cube, and the second coordinate, the second coordinate, evaluated from 0 to 2 pi 3. And if we evaluate that and simplify, we came up with 2, 3, 324 theta, 324 pi rather, all over 5. And that would be all. Thank you.